Oh, good afternoon guys, this is a, a, a TRU SDX that I've recently got and assembled and um, I'd like to just show you this in operation, certainly on receive, not necessarily on transmit, but on receive. Um, at the moment we have got uh, the power supply coming from uh, a phone charger, which has given me 5 volts. You can run this on 5 volts and it will give you around about 500 milliwatts QRP output. Um, we're at the moment listening on uh, 40 meters and... Uh, uh, to the BBC uh, commemorative station that's on at the moment. I'll turn the volume up. Yes, I believe you have a holiday there. Five and nine fifty-nine plus, Roger. And this is coming through these uh, computer speakers. The other station is very weak, can't hear them. Uh, I've actually tried to get back to the station with 500 milliwatts. He knows I'm there, but it's too weak. Indeed. The guy is in Ch uh, Cambridge okay. and I'm up in the west of Scotland. Much longer, unfortunately. We've been operating since quite early this morning and we need to take a little break and then we'll be back this afternoon, I'm sure. So, Anyways, that's the so that's on receive. Obviously, I'm not going to demonstrate on transmit. There's no point. Uh, on, on 40 metres, we're getting round about 600 milliwatts output uh, with a 5 volt input. Uh, but it does have a DC jack, so you can run it on 12 volts or 13.8, or uh, where you'll get... Uh, around about five watts output from it um which is obviously much better the it has the downside the downside is the speaker size the speaker is tiny and the audio is quite weak from there um i'll try and disconnect the headphone socket just give me a second i only have one pair of hands i need to hold this so it doesn't uh, uh short that's why there's a pen in there there's a 3d case i have to pick up on sunday uh so in the meantime i'm being very careful so i'll be just laying the phone down hang on uh, as we just pull it out, right, that's it out, that's it disconnected. Now you can hardly hear it. It'll be better once it's in the case because there's a there's a, uh, a a kind of tube that the speaker sits in, so there should be a bit more volume. I'll turn up the volume by what you do is you press the menu key, and it comes up on the screen. There we are. Volume is at 12. It doesn't like being much higher than that, so we'll adjust it. Distorts. 12 is fine. So that is the radio's downside. I have to say, that's the only complaint I've got with it. I've had a QSO this morning, I've got a good audio report, and uh, I was quite surprised um, that I even got a, a QSO this morning with just uh, half a watt. Uh, so, yes, uh, very, very good indeed. So, no complaints at all. Um, the kits are available. Uh, from China uh, they're around about £80 for the kit but beware of VAT charges on top of that which will push it, push it to probably the £100 mark um, you could get the ready built ones for maybe about £30 more and or for 30 to 40 um, the quality of the kit, kit, the kit is good and the quality of the, 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 the ready made ones is very good indeed as well don't touch the Chinese ones this is a Chinese one that I bought previously the only advantage i would say on the chinese model is uh this comes with 10 sorry eight bands this has only got five uh, and this covers 10 useful bands it covers 15 10 17 30 80 40 20 and 60 but this one here uh will come with 80 60 40 uh, and 20 right uh Oh, and there's one in between there, isn't there? There's a, there's, there's a thing, what do you call it, 30 as well is in there. So that's it. But you lose out with 15 and 10. Uh, and 15 and 10 are actually quite useful. But that is what they call the classic bands. And I do believe there's, there's another version coming out with the classic bands. So when that happens, I'll be ordering a kit for that version as well because I feel that's actually a better one for us here in Europe. So uh, that's the one I, I would definitely want. But even so, I'm happy to get uh, 80, 40 and 20, uh, which is the bands that I'll be concentrating on. Uh, as I say, the downside is this horrible little speaker on this one, but on this one, there's an, it's still got a pretty... You can compare it to the size of my thumb. It's very small. 
uh, and I wouldn't say the audio quality is very good. Um, but it is good if you run it on headphones, this one, and it's very good through the uh, external speakers which I'm using for the computer. Not handy if you're going up a hill, uh, but uh, you know, or away from power supply. But again, you can use headphones absolutely fine. Not an issue at all. An advantage of headphones, especially in-ear ones, if it's windy or blowy, um, you can hear much better. Um, but I, I, really, you know, I mean, it's not a Yaesu FT818 or anything like that. It's not. It definitely isn't. But it gets you onto QRP uh, for, a, for a very mo nominal fee. And to be fair, it's extremely efficient. Uh, it uses a Class E output stage, um, which is roughly around about 80% efficiency. So current drain is well less than an amp. It's around about maybe half an amp. 0.6 of an amp uh, when you're on transmit uh, at maximum power so your battery life is going to be good receive only draws at 80 milliamps uh, so again very very good this one will probably be both going in the bin or used for bits and pieces uh, I could use the toroids I know it's a bit of money down the drain but it's no worth it's not worth it at all uh, you can see I put in a couple of electrolytic capacitors on the the regulator because of noise um, it's already got ceramics in there which is partly helpful but <clears throat> the electrolytics help <clears throat> down here below here you'll see there's a group of components uh, including ceramic capacitors and this is in the audio path and that causes distortion and it also causes feedback shouldn't be using ceramic capacitors in an audio stage so again a very bad bit of design uh, and again I've had to do a modification to the, the, the audio input uh, there's severe distortion all the reports I got were bad and what I had to do is put an attenuating network to reduce the, the audio level coming from the microphone uh, to a more acceptable level it did help but I still got, didn't get particularly good reports. So, to be fair, I wouldn't touch these. I really wouldn't. Um, a lot of them change the... Oh, the other thing it did when I got it, you, you'll see there's three holes there for the BS-170s. The first BS-170 went up in smoke um, because the efficiency was down. It was down about 50%. So the transistors were overheating. Uh, I replaced them and, and ran it at much lower power. Uh, I did get some QSOs, but to be fair, not great. And I also had an IRF510 in there. But the IRF510 is a higher input capacitance. And of course it affects all the tune circuits. So really don't waste your money on them. Fortunately with this one I managed to get half my money back. Uh, after a complaint to the seller. So at least it wasn't too bad. Uh, but I learnt a wee bit about them. And I have to say that's why I went for this. And if you go for the right thing you'll get a much better radio. Um, but this, the approved sellers are very good, they do a good job and to be fair uh, it's well worth going for something like that rather than going for something that uh, we don't really know that they, they, how good they are. They're reverse engineered. End of the day it's actually it's not a bad little case. Uh, I can probably use the case. I might even consider um, with the next one that I make, uh, I might consider using this case to house this and um, relocating the display to say the front you know uh, that's it's just a thought whether I'll do that or whether I won't do that I haven't come to that decision as yet uh, but I'd rather play with this one first and then go go the up the decision of getting one with the classic bands anyway I thought this little review might help uh, anybody that really fancies one want to go for a micro SDX uh, transceiver I would thoroughly recommend they go for the right one go for the one that uh, has been approved go to the sellers that have been approved uh, you'll find it on the uh, uh, the TRU SDX forum uh, or even the, the, the groups on Facebook uh, which will help so there you go, that's my opinion on the radio, uh, very very pleased with it, very happy with it and I'll be even more happier once I've got the, uh, uh, the case for it on Sunday. So there we go, thank you guys for watching, take care and have a lovely day, bye for now, 73's.